What's going on everyone, Spencer here, and in this video, I'll be discussing as hockey players, should you turn your head and stick to initiate your turn? Of course, we'll be looking at some Connor McDavid examples and footage for evidence. The short answer of it is yes. The medium answer, kind of. And the long answer, well, watch the video to find out. I'm going to start off by saying it's going to be very obvious once I point it out, but it may surprise you or even change your perspective on a very common coaching cue. Lastly, drop a comment what you were taught about head and stick positioning while turning. Let's start off with what is commonly taught about head and stick positioning when turning. And that is that your head should be one of the first things that turns in the direction you are going and your stick should turn in the same direction, almost acting like a guide. A common cue is that your stick should lead your turn and even act as a steering wheel. But is that what McDavid does? In this case he is. His head is one of the first things that turns in the direction he's going, along with his stick, and of course he's traveling on this arc, just like we see here. Head, one of the first things that turns, along with the stick, in the direction he's going. And this is what we are commonly taught, and it makes sense, but it's not always very useful in the game of hockey, specifically having your stick lead your movement. And I would say it's rarely what McDavid actually does. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video here. Let's take a look at some McDavid clips that led me to my observation. I want to start off by saying I'm not here to convince anyone of anything. I'm simply stating my observations and evidence to support it, and obviously everyone will formulate their own opinion. So let's first look at where McDavid is turning. He's turning in this direction along this arc. Now let's look at where his stick is facing. So his stick is facing in this direction the majority of the turn. Let's watch that again and let's see when does he turn his stick to go to the direction he is turning. So stick is still in the opposite direction, opposite direction. And he turns it about right there, I would say almost at the completion of the turn. He's almost done his cross under and he's frankly just turning it because the player is coming the other way. Now let's look at where his head's positioned. So again, he's turning along this arc in this direction but his head is looking in the complete opposite direction for almost the majority of the turn again. So let's follow his head. Still looking in the opposite direction, still looking in the opposite direction, and about there again, almost at the completion of the turn, does he finally turn his head in the direction he's going. So altogether, we have McDavid turning in this direction along this arc, his stick positioned in the opposite direction, and his head looking in the opposite direction as well. Frankly, it looks unnatural. It looks like you shouldn't be able to do this. But McDavid, of course, can. And stay tuned for the end for a tip on how you could replicate what McDavid is doing right here. So I think it's pretty fair to say that in this case, McDavid's head and stick did not initiate his turn, right? They were in the complete opposite direction for most of the turn, but he was still able to travel on an arc going in the opposite direction. Let's look at a very similar example, and again we see the same thing. We see his stick in the complete opposite direction of his turn, and we see his head really having nothing to do with how he's turning. Initially I thought, okay, but these are both wide turns. He can't possibly be able to do this with a tight turn. But check this out. This is a really tight turn. As you can see, he's going around a really small radius. And again, let's look at his stick and head positioning. So he's going around the radius very tight like this in that direction. His stick is in the opposite direction. His head's facing the opposite direction as well. And let's see when does he actually turn his stick. It's kind of hard to tell, but I don't really think he does. I think it just moves at the exact same rate as the rest of his body. And really the same thing with his head. So his head's kind of turning with the same rate of the rest of his body around the arc. The other thing I notice is that his chest head, stick, and hips are all facing the same direction, opposite to the arc that he's traveling on when he starts his turn. His chest is not turning or twisting in the direction of his turn, and it's definitely not initiating his turn, which I see being taught on Instagram a lot. I'm not saying that's good or bad, I'm just saying it's not really what McDavid does. I think you got the point, but let's look at one more example here. And again, he's traveling in this direction already while his stick is still facing the opposite direction. So his stick could not have initiated this turn. 
as he's already on that arc while the stick is in the opposite direction. The last comment I want to make on this particular is that what does most people do in this situation and what do I do in this situation most comfortably? If I'm traveling on this arc, I'm going to turn my stick like so and almost use it as a pivot point to turn around. And that's what most people do and that's what's most comfortable. But as we see, McDavid doesn't need to do that in order to turn. If you noticed, all the clips I showed were forehand side turns without the puck. The reason I didn't show any backhand side turns is because your stick naturally is going to fall in the direction of the turn on your backhand side, so it's not as relevant. Let's take a look at this example right here. As you can see, his stick is naturally resting like this in the direction of his turn. And that's just how we hold our stick in hockey with two hands. You can even see this guy, again the same thing, his stick is in this direction, just like McDavid. Then you'll see McDavid turn in the same direction as his stick. But how about with a puck? Let's take a look at this example right here, and again we're going to see a very similar idea. Here we have McDavid picking up a puck off the boards. And what does he have to do in order to pick it up? He has to have a stick going in the opposite direction of his arc. So he's turning in this direction, and his stick has to be behind him in order to pick up this puck and make a play. As for head positioning, of course, when you have the puck or you're doing something with the puck, you're going to need to look in the direction you're going. And of course, we see that with McDavid here. Right there, he turns his head in order to make a play out of the turn. And in general, as hockey players, we can't have our stick leading our movement. If we are specifically talking about turning, think about picking up pucks, protecting the puck, and even deking out of a turn. You can't do any of these effectively if your stick is leading your movement or direction. And of course, anticipating and reading plays out of a turn, like we saw in this case. So in conclusion, should you turn your head in the direction you are turning? Yes. Should your stick turn in the direction you are going? Probably. But, and this is the important point, is that you shouldn't need or rely on your head turning or stick turning in order to turn effectively. And that's what we see with McDavid. He's able to turn just as effectively and comfortably his head and stick going in the complete opposite direction of his turn. He doesn't need to turn his head nor his stick, but it is helpful to do so. Especially his stick. He rarely turns his stick in the direction he's going. His stick is often in the opposite direction of his turn, and again, mostly on the forehand side. So take away for your own game or if you're a coach. When you are practicing turning, you should definitely spend the majority of your time turning your head in the direction you are going. It will make learning and improving your turning mechanics much, much easier and generally making turning easier. And of course, most of the time in a game, you need to look in the direction you are going. But I would challenge you to try to look in the opposite direction and even more importantly, have your stick in the opposite direction as your turn, replicating what we've seen from McDavid. When trying this out, start your turn looking in the opposite direction and let your head naturally turn at the same rate as your body. Notice how it feels. Do you feel off balance, awkward, or maybe you can't even get started turning? If this is the case, there is most likely a mechanics issue, and it is probably related to your posture and alignment, which is a separate video in and of itself. Remember that tip I was talking about? Well, it's coming very soon. As for your stick, if your mechanics are good like McDavid, it shouldn't really matter too much. Again, it will make it easier, and if you have the chance to do it in a game, you might as well, but again, it shouldn't matter all that much. So finally, here's the tip, and it's something that is a commonality amongst every single one of these clips, and that is his hand positioning, specifically his top hand. Notice where his top hand is. It's very tight to his body, and both hands are very close to his center of mass, right in this spot between his hip in every single one of these cases. And I invite you to check out the video for yourself, slow them down and pay attention to what his hands are doing the entire turn. This is what we call at Train 2.0, the Crosby crevice or just crevice. It sounds counterintuitive to bring your hands close to your body since when we are off balance, we wanna get our hands out. But getting your hands close to your body in the crevice will align your posture with gravity and allow you to fall into your turns. That requires an entire separate video just to understand what that means. That being said, give this cue a try, get your hand in the Crosby crevice, right in this position, and of course, do not take my word for it, take McDavid's. 
On Instagram, you could find all the clips I showed in this video in sequence so you can take a better look for yourself without my blabbering or having to go through my 8 minute compilation where all the videos can be found as well. That concludes the video. I hope it got the people who made it this far to think a little bit differently about stick and head positioning in the turn, or at least got you thinking about it. Let me know your takeaways from this video in the comment section, or if you think I'm completely off base, let me know. And if you found this video interesting, leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. And of course, follow along my personal punch turn progression and mechanics progression in my journey to mechanics mastery. I'll see you again in the next one.